It has been a very tragic month for our brothers and sisters in the construction industry. It has been a heartbreaking week for our brothers and sisters from La Yuna and the Carpenters Law Unions, many of whom are here with us today. Last week, a La Yuna Local 506 member fell to his death from a 16th floor of a high-rise building under construction a Bay in Adelaide. Last week, a carpenter local 27 brother was crushed to death when a mobile crane collapsed at a construction site in Brampton. One of the brothers who died dedicated a lot of time was a and a lot of energy in building this monument to the Italian boy. Are you going to tell the little boy that, that his father will never be able to hug him again? Are you going to tell his wife that her husband will never be in their arms again? Are you going to tell their parents that their boy is dead? How can his co-workers find the strength to go back to work to the same workers work site where the brothers lost his life? Tonight, when you turn the TV to the news, you're going to see thousands of workers at the, the event that we organized in downtown Toronto at I Park, next to the construction site where the two Layuna Local 1 and 3 bricklayers lost their lives. When you turn the TV on tonight to the news, you're going to see thousands of workers grieving together, standing next to each other. That would be the only way to convince governments to start enforcing existing health and safety legislation that is supposed to be there to protect for workers from being killed and injured on the job. Thousands of workers standing together in solidarity is the only way to convince the Workplace Safety and Insurance Board to stop reducing their deficit on the back of injured workers and start to compensate adequately the thousands of injured workers that live in poverty today. Let's not forget, brothers and sisters, that an injury to one is an injury to one, to all, and that united we will stand, divided we will fall. Solidarity forever.